There goes this month's pension. Finally made it to a decent air in Cartagena. So the sun is out, and the guns are out. And this incredibly Roman glass. Hi, and thanks for joining us for our latest video. For those who have just found our channel, where Andy and Helen, and inspired by our love of travel, we make videos to share our adventures. We're out exploring ancient marvels to vibrant chaos, crafting memories, and always embracing life to the fullest. So why not come along with us on our crazy adventures? Well, that's it, guys. That's Ben and Dawn done for a year. Time to go back to the camper. Helen and I need to pack it all up and uh, we can get on the road but i think we've got to do a bit of shopping on the way we've got to buy some new chairs the ones we've got are a nightmare yep yep it's been lovely to just stop hasn't it yeah. really really nice it's been really nice as i said yeah. excited though going somewhere else going somewhere else yeah. yeah i'm looking forward to it a little bit more culture i think a little bit quieter a little bit more culture but we've got to get this all down now and we're ready to get off on the road So we're back at Care 4 again. Got to get some essential supplies. Um, that's where we're going to next. It's going to be you know, it's a, a couple of airs as we head south. And there's not a real proper supermarket in an easy walking distance. So I think we're going to top up now, get four or five days worth of food, and get that away. Yep. That was a giant shop. Even got chairs. We managed to get all of our shopping and now Helen's in the camper. Trying to fight our way through. Yeah, playing shopping Jenga. Shopping Jenga. Getting all the stuff back in the fridge. Trying to find a way to get our new chairs to slide in. Yeah. Not easy, but I will do it. at Cartagena, that was a long old drive. Went to two different areas on the way here. One was uh, west of the city. Really wasn't very nice at all. Just felt like a grotty little compound. And then we went one north of the city, which was the back of a set of workshops. Couldn't find out how to pay, get in. When we did get in, we couldn't get out. It's, it was just, didn't feel right. So anyway, we've come now much closer into the city. We're about a 30 minute walk to the centre of Cartagena. And we're at this air here. And it's right next to the petrol station. It's got uh, everything we need. We've uh, decamped. and has been there making a bit of lunch, have a nice cup of coffee. And I think we can walk down and start exploring Cartagena itself. Later that day, We've had hairy trees. <laughs> now we've got these trees with it's like vines, isn't it? Yeah, it's swampy ones. It's like swampy ones, but you're getting the mangrove swamps yeah. in America. The glades. Yeah. Well, 
It's 33 degrees. We finally made it to a decent air in Cartagena. Yeah, third time lucky. Third time lucky, the first two. No, I'm not so sure. It didn't feel comfortable, and we always say if we don't feel comfortable, we leave, and that's what we've done. And uh, we're taking a riverside walk like past this lovely flowing brook down to into the centre of Cartagena for tourist information. I'll show you the river because I think you'll like it. It's got all the charm that's been punched in the face. I'm sure it looks lovely in the middle of winter though when it's raging down there. But at the moment, it kind of smells a little bit. But it is better than walking along the main road down into Cartagena, which I can't wait to see. We tried yeah. so many years to see Cartagena. Yeah. And uh, we're only doing a one day stop here, or two nights. But, so we've come out today, go and find a tourist information, and we can plan our day tomorrow, can't we? Yeah, make sure we hit all the historic Roman sites, particularly the Roman Forum, and the Etron I'm looking forward to. The amphitheatre. Yeah, it'll be quite nice. Been the tourist information office got some things and some details about what we're going to do tomorrow I have to say it's probably one of the nicest tourist information offices a i've been into <laughs> and the most helpful staff yeah brilliant and everything was summarized on a table yeah how to get in where to get in how much almost, it cost yeah and what Brilliant. a lot of what we want to go and see is free <laughs> even better still <laughs> um it's 39 degrees now and although the sun has gone in there's a little breeze Oh, well, I'm so dehydrated. It's muggy. It is muggy. I'm so dehydrated, I need cerveza. <laughs> Always need cerveza. Always need cerveza. I really like it here. And we had a, another success today. We managed to book the next two places we want to go and see. And I'm really, really happy we're going to get there. It's going to be great. But for now, we need to enjoy Cartagena and all that Cartagena has to offer. Which one do you want, Andy? Catamaran, we're actually looking for this one. What, this one? The only reason I'd want that is that there's a lot of timber on that I can use in our log burner. <laughs> Successful recce, lovely down that marina. Oh, that was really nice, really pretty. It was nice, wasn't it? I enjoyed that. And the pedestrian park was lovely. Yeah, loud music playing tonight. I think there's an event going on. Yeah. A lot of very well dressed up people. Yeah. Unlike us. <laughs> yeah. Um, peace to resistance though. Found a Burger King and went in. And a, what did we have? Not McFlurry. What do they call them? Something like that. Oh, God, it was nice. <laughs> We know, we're so cultured. We're so cultured, yeah. We, we know how to live, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Um, See, we can't get the Benidorm out of us, that's what it is. No, it's there now. We've got, it's going to take a few, at least a few weeks of travel to get that out. But it was lovely, sitting in the air-conditioned in the restaurant and uh, eating our um, McBurger things. <laughs> and, uh, that was really nice. But we're walking back now. Um, there's lots of things we can still go and see, but we want to have a full day exploring Cartagena tomorrow. And uh, so we've got our guidebooks on the tourist information. And uh, we're going to plan what we do, aren't we? Because yeah. there's things that are open in the morning and things that are open in the afternoon. Uh, I'm not sure how we've done this, but we found a much nicer walk <laughs> back to the camp, well, sorry, the camper, than we did on the way out. Yeah, it's much quicker as well. Yes, yeah, it's pedestrianised, it cuts across its wasteland, but it's all been paved, it's really nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
the next day. Well, that was a lovely night's sleep. It was actually quite peaceful. We had a bit of football playing earlier on in the evening, um, but it was really nice. So it's a new day, and now we're going to head down. It's actually a bit hazy sunshine today, so we're, but we're actually going to head down into Hars a Cartagena and see all the Roman ruins today, have a proper day exploring. Really looking forward to it. It's been such a long time coming. The year that we're staying at is just over my shoulder there. I think it's called Plen Oil. And um, just come out the entrance, turn right across the road, and you'll see this massive shopping centre behind this white wall. And uh, the, the pathway down to the city starts there. And uh, it's really close, actually. You get all your shopping. It's a lovely shopping centre there. Um, what is it, a Mercadona? Mercadona, yeah, big one, big Really one. big Mercadona, so you can get all your essential supplies. If, like us, it gets really hot. I think we was at 39 degrees <laughs> yesterday. It was 41 when we got back to the camper. Cool, going okay. into the Mercadona, to just sit in their air conditioning. They've got a cafe in there as well. This path will take us right down past the uh, stadium, cross over the river, and uh, turn right, and we're there. We've made our way down to Cartagena. We're going to have a look at the uh, military museum first. All being where it's open. Yeah, I think it's open. This is pretty spectacular. <laughs> We've got the whole museum to ourselves. And it's free. And it's free, yeah, gratis. I think we'll make a donation on the way out. in his element. Big boy toys. <laughs> Big boy guns. <laughs> Take the music in this. It's really good. Cool. You love your military history and you're a keen modeler. This uh, military museum is just incredible. Look at this. Found an escalator to get us up the top. Guess what's not working on Saturday? <laughs> escalator. 
turns out we didn't need to go up the escalator anyway. After climbing the steps, now we've got to climb back down to get to the uh, Forum Romano. Oh, it's a lovely breeze up here. That'd be cute. Just go have a look up here. Forgive me reading this off my phone, but I think we're at the Park Archaeological Ciro del Molliet. And according to Google, it's not busy. Absolutely right. Raymond has built some magnificent structures and the form is a really good example of it.
be found down here now. No, it's colourful, it is. Oh, we're in the houses. This incredibly Roman glass. Really, really good. Really good. Yeah, unexpected. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. And again, thank you, Carter Done it in English. Do you think we need some lunch? Yes, please. I think we might have to get the map out then. Go up. Yeah. Oh. oh God.
Helen's on a perfume hunt. She doesn't know I've already bought my son. Let's see if she can find some more. A few moments later. Helen found perfume. What have you got? Spend all my money. Yeah. There goes this month's pension. So we're now in the, possibly the Museum National Archaeological Sub Aquita. Sub Aquita. God, that's a mouthful. It's um, everything they've uh, salvaged from the seabed around Cartagena, actually in the port itself. This is like a scene out of. Um, Alien. Keep the big things in the pods. <laughs> Yeah. Really, really lovely. From the chaos of Mount yeah. to a bit of culture, a bit of history, it's nice Roman sites. Fabulous, fabulous Roman sites. Um, it's, and it's quite compact, isn't it? Yeah. So easy to walk to, easy to find. Tourist information centre here is brilliant. Yeah, it's fantastic. Go yeah. there. And um, lovely harbour. And um, a little windy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's lovely. You get, you get the occasional oil rig. <laughs> But uh, we've really enjoyed it here, so I think so we can enjoy the rest of our afternoon and leisurely walk through the streets. I think I'm going to say goodbye now. And how about you? Yes. Yeah, and we'll leave our video for this week here and uh, hope to see you all in the next one, wherever that might be, because at the moment we're not entirely sure where it's going to be. That's see you again. See you again soon. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please like and subscribe. It helps our channel grow.